So today we are going to design a schematic circuit for stepper motor driver. So stepper motor which is a kind of a, a motor which will be which whose coils will be driven by giving the step sequence actually and it rotates in terms of the steps. So we need to design a PCB for that and the speciality of this PCB is it is a surface mountable device. We are going to use purely surface mountable devices here. So that tracking will be done on the front copper. Okay, most of the copper are on the front. If you are using a through hole component, then only the bottom copper comes into picture. Otherwise, all the coppers are put up on the front layer. So this is the schematic circuit diagram that we are supposed to design. Okay, so this circuit basically used to drive any stepper motor of unidirectional, uh, unipolar stepper motors. As you can see here, there are four coils of a stepper motor and uh, one is given for the ground and uh, other will be given for a VCC. Okay, so now this kind of a stepper motor, we are going to drive it using a power amplifier. So here we have something called as power amplifier. So this is a power amplifier BC. BD140 uh, is actually one of a simple uh, 1 amp 1.5 ampere power amplifier and it depends on the motor specification what we are going to use okay so different motor specification comes with the different power rating if you use a very simple stepper motor then you need not have to use a very high power uh, stepper motor driver so it mainly depends on what is the current capacity of the motor so that specification will be given by the motor vendor so one who uh, gives the vendor and um, one who provides the motor or whatever the requirement that you have depending on the requirement we need to buy a stepper motor and stepper motor comes along with the specification like torque rating okay so mechanical uh, students might know even electrical student know about the torque rating so depending on the torque rating the current ampere rating will re increase so that is what we need to take care here as and when ampere rating increases this transistor what we use here its rating has to increase whereas the remaining left part of the circuit that means this is a control circuit it remains same whatever may be the uh, stepper motor unless it is a unipolar type of a stepper motor only this BD140 transistors for such transistor I need to change rest all remain same so we are going to design now a PCB for this so I am going to visualize uh, this particular circuit on a PCB by providing these IEC, okay, IEC that is uh, CD4096, that's a, it's a inverter actually, this is an inverter IT, IC, and you have CD4017, it is actually decade counter IC, and all these ICs are, I'm going to use it in SMD package only, I'm going to use it as an SMD package, and these uh, diodes are there, and then transistors are there, and these components will come on the PCB. Whereas I will provide only a connector here for the stepper motor. So this is so here what you see uh, D D and C C and B B and A A and red. Okay, all these are actually the connector. So here you get a five bit connector. See one two three four five four for the coil one for the power. So these five bit connectors I am going to provide to connect the stepper motor. So this will be external to the PCB. So what is included in the PCB? The PCB will include only these components. Okay, these materials are included in the PCB except the motor. So this is actually a representation of the motor winding. This we need not have to consider it in the PCB design. We need to consider only the connector here. So my uh, job is to now design the schematic. So let's uh, do the schematic first. So when you do a schematic, you need not have to worry about the footprint assignment on uh, in schematic design. We will simply use the general component notation what is available in the uh, KiCad library. We will use it. So what are the major components that we need to use? We need to use the CD4017 one IC which is a decade counter and we need to use CD4069 which is actually this hex inverter here. You have kept C not uh, N1, N2, N3, N4, N5, N6 all these are actually the inverter okay then you have diode here d1 d2 d3 d4 d5 d6 d7 and d8 
these are the diodes similarly d9 d10 d11 d12 these are the diodes then we have transistor here bd140 transistor and we have a resistor here and we have a potentiometer this will actually adjust the pulse width the, the we can uh, the step as the adjustment we can do whether you want to go with a slow step movement or a fast step movement we can adjust with the trimmer plot here we are one is provided here and uh, there is a small capacitor which is an rc clock which provides rc clock to this and that is connected to pin number 14 here so that is what this whole circuit contains so <coughs> At outside, uh, you can just uh, uh, see only basic components. There is much, much uh, need not have to worry about the working of the circuit. As far as concerned, uh, this is something very uh, straightforward using uh, an IC based, okay, which is actually uh, driven by this clock. So now let's continue with the design. So today we will just see how to do it. So let me open a new project here. So I'm going to create a new project. So this is lab four, and I'm going to create lab underscore four. Okay, that is the name, lab four, and I'm going to open this KiCad schematic. Okay, now this is the schematic editor window. So now let me create a. First thing we need to do is we need to. Uh, edit this page setting we can do it and always uh, need to remember that we need to do that so this is actually stepper motor driver so v1 so this is version 1 so we say version 1 and this is my title stepper motor driver and company I write my name and this I will write it as ENC department and that's it say ok to this so this will appear here and this now let me start doing the design okay so now what we need to do is we need to add the circuit according to the components that is here so this is the circuit diagram so let me add one by one each component so I will add now CD <coughs> okay CD uh, 4017 CD 4017 is there or not we need to check CD 4017 is not there so CD 4017 is not there so we need to we need to add this component Four zero one seven. Yeah, this is the one. So uh, it's a fourteen pin IC actually. CD four zero one zero. We can just search with four zero one seven. CD four zero one seven is here. Four zero one seven. So what we need to do is we need to see whether it is same or different. Just look at this. Uh, I'll just go through the data sheet of this that will make us clear so this is the data sheet of that IC you can see here pin number uh, 8 is ground here and uh, this is it is a 16 pin IC Correct. Correct. So it's a 16 pin IC. 16th one is a power, and 8th is ground, and uh, and then uh, 3 to 9 is actually output. Just verify it whether it is same. Exactly, it is. Yeah, you can see here uh, three, two, four, seven, 
till the 11th one this is for uh, yeah Three, two, six, nine, eleven. Okay, so I will for time being I will use this thirteen and fourteen reset clock. Otherwise, we need to create a component. Okay, that's another way we can create a component. Uh, fifteen and So 4017 I will just search here. So this is a Johnson counter 4017. So I will use 4017 only as it is here. And zoom in towards this. Okay. Okay, so this is the pins that we have here Q2 to Q9. So, in that, we are going to use only 7, 4, 2, 3 as the output. 7, 4, 2, 3 as the output. 2, 3. Yeah, these are the pins that we are going to use. Okay, 7, 4, 2, 3 are the pins that are going to be used in the circuit okay so it, it is actually the proper one so this is 4017 and we have one more ic here which is uh, cd 4046 cd 4046 just choose that the major component is cd uh, 40 Four six is not there, so just search four zero four six. Okay, I think we need to create a invert. We need to create a component for this CD four zero four six. So no problem, we'll create a component. I don't have a component here uh, for this library step promoter driver. So CD. 4069 sorry 4069 that I need to search 4069 yeah 4069 is here hex inverter is there so this is the one that I am supposed to use 4069 is here so say ok to that so uh, we need to use now uh, each one of these hex inverter actually 1 2 3 4 uh, see it was mentioned here very clearly what are the hex inverter we need to use okay so hex inverter one there are totally six hex inverter in the circuit so we have to use all of them in the circuit so I will use them um, as what is required here so 14 I will need to use n1 and n2 and rest all supposed to be used in uh, 7 4 onwards correct yeah so we will use it here so this comes to the other side over here and we need to have one more so hex inverter unit A unit B then I need to have unit C and unit C is here Unit C seven. Okay, then unit eight. That is D for the same IC. Then I have unit nine. Unit E. And I have one more called. unit F I think that's the end of the four hex inverter if you look at the circuit here 
Mm, yes, totally we have six inverters in this. So six inverters are used here. That's proper. So we also used six inverters. So these are the inverters. So just move around here so that you can place it in a proper position so that we can route it easily. Okay. So these are the components. Then I need to add one more called diodes I need. Diodes I need. So I think I need to add diodes also the potentiometers. So let me search for the diodes first. Diodes we need in a more number. So diode is 1N. 4007 so this is actually the diode that I'm looking for so all these are almost in the same series only that voltage uh, rating is different so 4007 is the diode that I am looking for so I need to see what is the number of diodes that we actually needed here so diodes I need uh, four here and another uh, 8 over here 2 8 8 plus 4 12 diodes are required here okay we need 12 diodes in the circuit so we need to put this 12 diodes somewhere here we need to place those diodes okay so somewhere here so okay D1, D2 onwards. It will start from here. Control C, Control V. D1, D2. Then Control V. Another diode here. Control V, another diode here. Control V, another diode here. Another one, another diode here, one more diode here. So this is on the uh, the inverter side. Okay, for these four inverters, four diodes, and uh, we have one more diode over this side. So I need to put that too. Uh, after this transistor comes so four diodes I'll put it here later I will correct that so control V and control V control V control V and here also control V so these are the four diodes that I need to put so once you do this, next I need to put some resistors. So let me go back here to the circuit diagram again. I need to put the transistor BD140 as a transistor. So just choose the transistor here. So transistor is, let me see if I have the transistor BD140. Yeah, BD140 is here. So use this transistor. Say OK. Place it here. And you see how this transistor has to be placed. Uh, the emitter is on the other side. Okay. So we need to tilt it. We need to tilt this transistor. So right click and uh, we need to mirror it. Yes. Yeah, this is good. So, 1, 2, then, okay. Now, you choose this and here, control C, control V, another transistor comes over here, then control V, another transistor, then again control V, one more transistor. Fine. So this is how the transistors are placed. The next I have the device called. Uh, now few components are left out. They are resistors, one port and one capacitors. So I need to do that. So let me quickly put this resistor here. So symbolic, you know, what is the symbol of a resistor? So you can quickly 
find out this resistor here. So resistor search here and you get the resistor symbol here. Okay, here is the resistor. This is my resistor. I'm going to use this resistor here and just tilt it accordingly the in the circuit diagram how you need it. So one is a pot, other two are actually okay. Okay, all are three resistors required for me now. So I'm going to use it. So one over here. So three resistors I need. I'm going to use it here. Okay. I think that's... So then I need a capacitor here. I need a port also. So we need to have a potentiometer. So potentiometer also required. So we have to use that R port. R port is a potentiometer over here and use it. Sorry. Yeah, let me tilt it. Yes. So this is my R port. So just uh, zoom in. Yeah, it's proper. And we need a capacitor again. So capacitor we need to search, but look at whether it is uh, electrolytic or what type of capacitors we need to see. It's 0 0.047 microfarad actually. So we can find out the capacitor. So Unpolarized only use it. Unpolarized capacitors over here. That's it. I think about the circuit diagram. We are almost done with this. Okay, now what is left out is the routing. Okay, I need to put some connectors here. Okay, I need to put some connectors. So, these connectors are for the power and other things. Okay, I need one power connector and one connector for the... Uh, so, I will put a connector here. The 2-bit connector, I will put it for the power. So, what you can do is, you can search in the connector. So, under connector, there are different varieties of connectors. So, you can actually choose uh, a connector called... Okay, uh, the best thing is uh, the header. Okay. Okay, what I'll suggest is to use this column here and find out the connectors. Connectors come somewhere here. It's in alphabetical order. Yeah, it's here connector. And here, okay, this to such terminal. Okay, I will suggest you to use this uh, connector like simple connector, cubic connector. You can find it as terminal in the uh, library here.
okay just use a two bit connector here just send screw terminal as one cross two use it as the power connector here okay this is my power connector and I will use the same connector for the 5 bit connector here so I will use another 5 bit connector on this side for the motor okay later I will change the footprints accordingly terminal so 1 cross 5 okay there are 1 cross 5 bit connectors for here okay I am going to use a connector over here so so this completes the components assignments onto this so you can now clearly see uh, all these components and if anything is left out we will add it so let me see the circuit once again if anything is left out we added resistors we added capacitors and this IC and this yes that's it and a power supply is VCC fine now let's start routing it okay let's start routing these components so I think uh, we are in the yeah point 10 mils grid so that's more sufficient for me to route so just to use now the routing tool okay we will actually connect these schematics accordingly to the circuit so so before that I'm going to assign the VCC and ground to this okay so let me add a label here let me add a label here so as VCC okay so this is the VCC and let me add one more label as ground ground okay Uh, I think uh, okay ground we will use a symbol instead of using this label okay we can find the ground symbol here use the symbol and place it over here so this is the ground so here also I need that ground so one more ground I need it over here I need it over here and I may need one more ground over here also okay that's it so okay so now let's uh, do the tracking I will just connect this so use the symbols and connect it here to this connector and ground to the ground yes so VCC and ground is connected I need to connect this to the VCC so what I will do is I will simply place the label here and I need to choose the label as VCC use that VCC over here and this is what I need to connect so VCC is connected here and uh, look at the circuit here once again now pin number 14 is connected with the clock so 14 let me complete the connection so let me move these uh, components a bit up these components I need it for the clock so I will use them okay here okay so that's going to be good so let me connect this capacitor and this capacitor and this one let's look at the connection once again 
oh that is connected ultra actually so I need to connect one and two then so on n1 supposed to be n2 supposed to be the other size okay so one and two okay I need to remove this connection a bit okay so I will move this up here and let me move this down and let's look at the connection the way it needed to the other way so let me rotate it this way and let me take this to here this is what required okay now let's do the connection so let me complete this connection now so this supposed to be connected so look at this 2 should be 3 and 4 should be 1 and through the capacitor it's supposed to go to pin number 14 and there is one resistor here and this will be connected to this point correct exactly and we need one more resistor connected 1 mega here so we have one resistor here which is this resistor has to move up and the value has to be connected again it's connected here and I need to ground this so move this ground symbol a bit up I can move it here ground so that now let me connect this to ground it's connected here I need to connect this also it's not proper so properly connected look at the connection again so okay so I need the port connection to be done so these two supposed to be shorted together and this supposed to be connected over here and this should be connected to the we'll start from this point and we'll connect it here so so the circuit this part of the circuit is complete so the input side is complete so what is left is the output side let me look at the connection again and there is 10th and 15th should be shorted actually okay Pin number 10 and 15 should be shorted so and should be given to the ground so pin number 10 and 15 15 is here so I can just track this around and I can connect this to ground yes and pin number 10 has to be connected to the 15th one that also we can connect and there is a ground symbol required so 
we need to insert a ground here so ground is here so move around this ground and connect this so connect this circuit here to the ground sorry again this is not connected sorry yes that's done so now next is connecting this so pin number 7 to these transistors and so on so what i will do is i will connect it from pin number 3 2 4 7 it it is just a matter of changing the sequence that's it okay 3 2 4 7 uh, to this 13 12 and so on uh, these yeah this one so mm, 3 2 n 13 and n6 actually 13th pin 3 to 13 pin that's here Uh, what we do is uh, we can actually uh, give it as give some name to this that looks better than connecting it one by one it looks shabby so what I'll do is I will use a label here as uh, sig1 okay I will use it as sig1 and uh, okay so this I can rotate it this way and what I will do is I'll simply copy and paste it here so but I need to change it to SIG2 and this I will again SIG3 and SIG4 okay so I'm going to use it as a label here all these four connections here so let me move a little bit up so that it looks better so that I can connect it close by each other control Z okay let me connect these signals to the uh, pin number 7 pin number 4 it's not connected and pin number 2 here and pin number 3 okay now these signals are connected now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this little bit ahead and I'm going to name it here I'm going to place this label again here you browse the signal 1 say ok signal 1 should be here so I need to connect it here so this you need to do it one by one so everywhere so this is 13 then next is signal 2 so you can use add symbol label here signal 2 say ok add it so on so now start doing the connections to this so you can move around and do the connection for this sig1 should be connected here like this
and 11 should be connected to 2 so on so look at the circuit here so 11th should be connected to 2 and 13 should be 3 so on so I will do the connection and uh, you can also do the connection in a similar way let's uh, stop for the day